For today's video, I'm taking the 1648 John Boat out for its first run with a 25 horsepower two-stroke. So what I want to handle today is going to get some fresh gas, run it on some earmuffs just to make sure we're ready to go, and then get it mounted on the boat. I'm going to let this warm up, and once it does, once the thermostat opens, we should start seeing more water coming out of the telltale. That's hot. That's good. Thermostat open. Yeah, there we go. All right, shift it to gear. Give it a quick wipe down, getting all the dust from the garage off of it. It ran beautifully. Only took a couple pulls to start to get the uh, gas into the carb. Previous owner had already pulled the carb and cleaned it for me, uh, changed the spark plugs and stuff like that. So honestly, this thing is just ready to go. So we got the boat on the. <laughs> all right, I got the motor on the boat. <laughs> at first, I was like, oh crap, did I buy a long shaft here? Because I'm looking at it, I'm like, that cavitation plate looks, or anti ventilation plate looks really low, but come here and measure it. We are almost perfect. Look at that. I got a bilge pump quickly installed just on a battery, so we have something just in case. Gas tanks in, got some emergency equipment. We're pretty much good to go. So let's get out on the water and see what it does. So while we're backing in here, Couple things I want to test is make sure the motor runs first of all. Had it running in the garage, so we want to get it running here. Make sure all of our leak fixes actually fixed up the leaks, or at least the majority of them. Got a bunch of little little tweaks and checks out here. I'm having is that the handle is set so far back and I don't have a seat when we get up on plane I start sliding around the boat so I definitely got to come up with some kind of uh, seating arrangements here but we're getting there overall I'm really happy with our first water test we're not getting any water in from the rivets the motor works great the motor works great before I take it in let's cruise around a little bit try to get the phone GPS going just so we can get an idea on these speeds. But I kill it. All 
So unfortunately, that was the end of the boat testing for the day. Let me explain to you guys what happened. As I was pulling around to uh, make the final turn back towards the docks to, to trail her up and leave for the day, um, I had wanted to try out the phone GPS to see what kind of speeds I was getting when I got it on plane. Well, in the process of slowing down to turn around, uh, the motor died. Uh, when I got the throttle low enough, it just turned off on me. I was ready to try out the GPS and it would not start. I could not get this motor to start. So I was out there floating around for about 20 minutes with a dead motor and I was kind of running out of ideas on what to do. So I ended up pulling the cover off, actually lift up the throttle cable slightly, pull the motor to get it started and then immediately shift it into gear and get back to the dock. Uh, once I got near the dock and I slowed down to trailer up, it died on me immediately again. So I knew right away that I was having an issue with my idle. When I got home, I started taking a look and my entire problem stemmed from that one screw in there. So basically what happened is this mechanism here, you pull this out to prime the carb with gasoline. Uh, when you pull it, there's a little knob if you can see that blue tab in there when you pull this out that comes down pushes on that and that squirts some gas into the carb well that wasn't the reason why my idle was dying the previous owner when they reinstalled the carb they forgot to screw that screw in and that screw keeps the mechanism from pulling too far out and disconnecting from the lever back here when this mechanism is disconnected from that lever, it removes all pressure from the idle cable here. So without the mechanism being connected in here, there was no idle tension whatsoever on the idle cable. So that's how I was able to get it started because when I held this, it basically put it in the same position it would be if this was all connected up. What I'm guessing is when I was starting to run the motor a little bit harder and it started to vibrate, it vibrated right out of the position in here. And when that happened, the the idle tension was completely lost and that's why it died when I slowed down and that's why I couldn't start it up. Uh, after pulling this apart, I fixed it all up, starts right up again. Unfortunately, I didn't get to do the speed test like I wanted to, but I do know that I was much faster than I was in the last boat, so I'm already off to a good start. I wasn't getting any leaks from the rivets that were repaired, so I was really happy to see that. However, I had a drain plug in this old, uh, I'm guessing a bilge pump hole that was on here, and that was leaking on me. So one of the next things I'm gonna work on that I'm already prepped for here, I'm gonna be cutting uh, two patch plates that I'm just gonna silicone on both sides of the hole. That should make that nice and watertight. So we should be good to keep building. Uh, this weekend, I've actually got a lot of free time to myself. So I'm planning on getting some pretty big things done this weekend. All right, well, if you guys found this helpful or you just like watching it, don't forget to let me know by hitting that like button. If you wanna follow along to Jumbo Build and see what I got in store, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.